hello and good morning um as you can see it is 11 03 oops you don't see that it's my thumbnail it's for my thumbnail this week i am doing a water challenge i have been doing this water challenge for about two weeks and i've messed up in places i but i've seen some good turnaround with this so i want to bring you guys into it the goal is you have to drink half of your body weight in ounces so for example if you are 100 pounds you would drink 50 ounces a day and that's it unless you are doing extracurricular activities that involve sweating and a lot of breathing then you would drink more than that but other than working out just around a gallon is my daily goal so i'm not gonna tell you that the actual ounces because i don't want you guys calculating how much i weigh so i did get up this morning and i did a workout with my friends i died you're welcome so i got up i drank some and i was getting ahead of myself because by 9 a.m Oh no, sorry. <laughs> By 8 15 ish, I was down to 9 a.m. because when you work out, you drink more water. So I had to fill it back up to 9 a.m. I took a shower, and then by 9 a.m., I was out of the shower and we were back on track, ladies and gentlemen. So now that you saw, it is now 11 05, and guess where we are at? We're actually ahead, people. We're actually ahead. So I want to bring you guys into my water journey. Um, I'm really excited. I had to start it two weeks ago because my bottle came in two weeks ago. Um, as you can see, it's a very nice bottle. Clicks, clicks. You have a little handle. Um, it's a little heavy, but it gets lighter throughout the day because you're drinking water. You're drinking water. I got it from Amazon. It's 20 some odd bucks. I had so many people asking me about this. Um, they said this was my status symbol at conference. <laughs> um, but it helped me keep on my water. And I actually, for the most part, did keep on my water at conference. But what happened is that your girl got real busy and was trying to get <laughs> the person I was assisting to drink water. So in that case, I was not drinking water, but so far I love it. Um, I fill it up every night to over 7 a.m. because it starts at 7 a.m. and finishes at 9 p.m., which is around my day. But I start it like a little bit higher than 7 a.m. Um, so that if I need water overnight, you know, like when you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm thirsty. Yeah, so start up there. And so by around 7 a.m., I'm around 7 a.m. Now, of course, this week, since it's post-conference week, thank you, Jesus, um, I've been behind my water because I get up at like 11 a.m. and now I'm like 7 a.m. But you still got to drink the same amount of water no matter how much you sleep. So you know what I'm saying? Because you still get dehydrated. Actually, overnight you get dehydrated. But I also get up like 18 times overnight to go to the bathroom. Um, I think that's a con to this is that you pee 15 times a day, but you're very hydrated and it can help with weight loss. It helps get all, you know, helps get unnecessary toxins that want to stay in your body out a little faster. It helps with your sodium levels. Oh, what are the rest of the benefits of water? Let's see. Benefits of watermelon. No, we want water. Nope, it changed it. Thanks. Lubricates your joints because I've been having some uh, issues. It forms saliva and mucus. Delivers oxygen throughout your body, which is actually, bro, that changes everything. That actually makes me feel so much better because, like, when you're in a workout and you're really tired and when you drink water, it's like your body's actually getting the oxygen that you feel like you're, like, missing out on. I'm tripping. It boosts skin, health, and beauty. Okay, so you know that I'm on the outside of vinegar concoction, which I'm still doing and I'm still loving. Um, however, you need something to flush out all the acidity, even though it's an alkaline, like, 
balancer in your body, it's still a lot of acid to take in along with the acid that you already have in your body. So getting that to come all through is great. Also, yeah, I'll just keep it there. Um, it cushions the brain, spinal cord, and other sensitive tissues. It regulates body temperature. That is accurate. That is so accurate. I remember drinking water when I was at um, working for it. I'm not going to tell you. But I would drink water there, and it would literally cool me down, and I would be freezing, like, from the inside out. And so it's true. Um, the digestive system depends on it. That is so accurate. It helps maintain blood pressure. What? My blood pressure is going to be on fleek, yo. Because I'm already taking the cinnamon from the apple cider vinegar concoction. So listen, listen. It says when dehydrated, airways are restricted by the body in the effort to minimize water loss. What? Well, I'm so hydrated. I ain't got to worry about that. Makes minerals and nutrients accessible. Prevents kidney damage. That is actually accurate. Um, it boosts performance during exercise. Yes. Weight loss. Okay, we're here for it. Okay, we're here for it. So, those are the benefits of water. And um, I'm really excited to take you guys on this journey of my week try to be very entertaining while showing you that i drink water every day um I'll sh yeah but yeah just listen Okay, that was probably so weird, but um, here we are. <laughs> I have not been keeping up with my water so much this week because I am too busy for still recovering from the weekend. But I, I have recovered from the weekend. It's just, yeah, I just I think I keep staying up late, so then I want to sleep in late, and it throws off my day. So right now. It's 9 a.m. and it's almost 11. So, I mean, I'm not too far off, but that was because I'm drinking gym water. So, like I said, that's just my daily um, amount of water that I need to take in without extra water. So, when the extra water would come in, would be when I work out or if I drink coffee. So, I drink more than that. So, me getting back on track with what I'm supposed to be drinking as gym water. I hope it makes sense to you one of these days. Just listen. So it's 11 o'clock. I'm here around the 9 p.m. mark. Um, so I'm still drinking it. Um, so far, I've been kind of on time, but like later on in the night, I was not on time at all. So just catching up, but about to go to bed. And uh, yeah, we'll try this again tomorrow. <laughs>